Probably the most fundamental question that we can ask about the universe is what got it started? Where did it come from? The moment of creation. And that's probably the most difficult thing to try to answer. Because in cosmology, the way we reconstruct the history of the universe is to run the movie backwards. And the way we run the movie backwards is by using the laws of physics. Um, the laws of physics that we presently know are probably good enough to take us back to within 10 to the minus 43 seconds of the bang or the moment of creations. Uh, that, that's pretty close. Um, but in order to go all the way back, we've got to get a better theory of gravity. We, we need a quantum theory of gravity. And I suspect that we may always find ourselves in this position, um, that to go that last tiny fraction of a second, we need some knowledge that we don't have. And so I think it may be a very long time, if ever, uh, before we can answer the question that everyone would like to know, what, what, where did, what caused creation? I am uh, It may be. I am uh, the universe. And I know I am a man. Did not really have a beginning. I am a man. And maybe that space time forms a close surface without an edge. Rather like the surface of the earth. But in two more dimensions. If the suggestion that space time is finite but unbounded is correct. It's the Big Bang is rather like the North Pole of the Earth. To ask, to, to ask what happens before the Big Bang. It's a bit like asking, what happens on the surface of the of the Earth, one mile north of the North Pole. It's a meaningless question. If there was a creation event, it had to have had a cause. And this was Aquinas' whole question, one of the five ways he did to God. Uh, if you can find the first effect, you have uh, at least come close to the first cause. And if you found the first cause, that to him was God. What do astronomers say? Uh, as astronomers, you can't say anything except here is a, here is a miracle of uh, what seems almost supernatural, an event which has come across the horizon into science through the Big Bang. Can you go the other way back outside the, the barrier and finally find that answer? Why is there something to nothing? No, you cannot within science, but it still remains an incredible mystery. Why is there something instead of nothing?